What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and today we are going through a midlife crisis. It is terrible, like seriously. This guy, Steven Stevens, he just, he got bored of his life. He's got the same dead end job. He's been saving money all his life. For what? For nothing. So, Steven went out, he bought his car, nice Corquette. And he wants to act like he's a kid again, and no one can really blame him, so he chopped the roof off, made it a convertible. And he's gonna do some drifting, and he's got some red in the glow, because you know what? Fuck the rules. He's 61, fuck the rules. Oh, nailed that one. And this one, nope, not quite. Drifting this one, oh, nailed it. Yep, that's how you do it, on the right side of the road as well. No, that's a tree stump. Ha oh, ha ha. I could not have done that if I tried. I nailed that one. And I nailed that. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Oh yeah, onto the mud. Nailed it, because you know what? I talk like I'm constipated, so I'm going to be a brilliant driver for today. Oh yeah, nailed that one. Nailed it. Oh, I'm good at this drifting. Through here, let's risk it a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, I nailed it. Hey, there's a cop in there. Oh yeah, nailed it. Oh, I'm good at this. Nailed it. Oh yeah. Oops, Daisy. You know what? I'm 61. Fuck it. Nailed it. Oh, I'm good at this. Oh, I read the camera van. That's how you do it. Handbrake turn. Let's see what this guy wants. Hey, we got a friend. Hide the red underglow. You okay, sir? Yeah, man. What the hell's all this about? Driving about? Hey man, I'm getting old now. I need to have some fun before I'm too old. Do you have your driver's license, proof insurance, registration with you? Of course I do, man. Here you, you go. Home, please. My name's Steven Stevens. Alright, Mr. Stevens, do you have any guns, knives, drugs, anything in the car that you shouldn't have on your person? No, man. I just bought it. It's clean as a whistle. Alright, sit tight, Mr. Stevens. Damn, I hope I have this much hair when I'm 61. Jesus Christ. That is like pretty much a full head there. Ignore the top. It's a full head of hair if you're looking from below. This is a beautiful ass car, fair play. I love it. It's cool that you can actually see the underside of it as well. It's not the most detailed thing ever, but there's the. Um, that is the. Bottom of the engine. Not a mechanic. Okay, Mr. Stevens, there's your information back. Thank you. I can't let you go tonight, although, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Stevens, I'm gonna have to give you a citation for all. Come on, man, I'm 61 years old. Just trying to have some fun before I, get I that, die. But, uh, you can't be, can't be drifting around, can't be, that, they don't have, you know, your speed's not a massive issue, but can't have you drifting around corners like that, especially when you came up to the, uh, corner over there with uh, that minivan and you just drifted completely around them. I'll pay for anything gonna be in my damage. Right, Mr. Stevens, I'm going to be citing you today for aggressive careless driving. It's going to be because uh, it saves me from citing you multiple different times for the different infractions. It's going to be for penal code 316 decimal 9, well sorry, 1923, okay? We have, okay. We have two copies here of the citation. One copy is going to be yours. That's going to explain what you're being cited for, uh, and exactly what penal code that will be, and the fine amount that it carries. If you choose to pay the fine, you can go ahead and direct your check to the address stamped below, or if you would like to visit the website, you can go ahead and pay that online as well. Below that is going to give you the options to combat the ticket. So if you disagree with it and would like to fight it in court, you have the local authority building that you need that you would need to attend at the appointed date and time. The second copy is going to be my copy. It's going to make sure that I've gone through all the formalities in you. And okay, man. 
Do you have a pen I can borrow? Damn, man, you've been working out. <laughs> I could do that back in the day. Go on, give me four reps. You can do it. <laughs> what even is this? Okay, guys, he said I'm good to go. I just telepathically spoke to him, so I need to need to turn my engine on, and we're gonna get out of here. I don't care what he says, I'm still gonna drive like an asshole. I'm 61 goddamn years of age. I'm allowed to. Oh, I nailed that one. Almost. I was so close. This way, over the berm. Come on, do a jump, do a jump. Oh, I nailed it. Got air. Handbrake. God damn, we might be 61 years old, but we're fucking good at this. I'm living my life to the full extent. Move out the way, asshole. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Tree. It's fine, he just bent my wheel a bit. Oh yeah, nailed it. The cop's still down there, man. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about my under, though. I'm pretty sure that's legal. I don't know, though. I'm not a lawyer. I was a truck driver, but I just got fed up, man. Retired age 58. It's been the best three years of my goddamn life. Oh, damn, that was close. Motherfucker. You need to watch where you're going, asshole. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. Feels like I'm 23 again. Goddamn. Back when I used to smoke pot. And my penis still worked. Oh shit. That's a cop. Fuck, man. You just gonna sit there, boy? When I'm going left. Goodbye, asshole. Damn it. I don't want another citation. Oh shit. I think that's the same cop from earlier that was doing weights. Fuck, man. Hey, Deputy Johnson with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled you over today is because I caught you doing 71 miles an hour in a 30 zone. Do you have your license, registration, and proof of insurance? I'm sorry, Officer Johnson. My foot slipped on the accelerator. This, this car gets up to speed quickly, you know what I'm saying? My name's Steven. I've been seeing you driving... Er Okay, Steve, Stephen what? Stevens. Stephen Stevens, Steven that is Stevens. my name. Can I have your driver license as well to verify that? Yeah, sure, man. Here you go. Alright, thank you. So, I I've been seeing you while handling other stuff. You're just tearing down sandy shores. So, you get I, I guess your gas pedal is slipping a lot. Oh, look, officer, I'll be honest with you. I've been a truck driver all my life, and I got bored of it, and I, I needed something else in my life, so I thought I'd do what the kids do, man. It looks fun. So I thought it wouldn't be no harm if I just went, like, drifting around places, you know? Well, it's going to be harm if you, if you do it in, on public streets. If you want to be drifting and stuff, you should do that on a public road or a... Some public, a public, oh, road. Not public road. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> a private road or a p private facility. I know, if you man. get the consent from the owner. I'm sorry, but I just don't know anywhere big enough to do it other than out here in Sandy. I didn't hit anyone or oh. hurt anyone. No, but you sure as hell could have. I know, man. Uh, I honestly, I didn't realize how fast I was going. I was having so much fun. Yeah. Well, I, I don't take my word for it, but I do believe that you're allowed to um, be on the Sandy Shores airfield during the night time. But you have to contact the owner and get his consent. Okay, man, I'll go down there after you give me my verbal warning. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. G just give me a few seconds. I'll run your information. Make sure you're not wanted for murder or anything. All right. I can assure you I'm not. My name's Steven Stevens, I told you. Yep, yep. You sit tight for me, Mr. Stevens. Okay, Officer Johnson. Mr. Stevens, is there a reason I cannot find you in our database? 
You should be able to, man. It's S T E P H E N, and it's spelled the same oh, okay. for my last name. Okay, okay. Give me a sec. Okay, man. All right, Mr. Stevens. Um, I just got noticed by my deputy that you just got pulled over, and he gave you a citation for aggressive, careless driving. Yeah, man, that was a little bit harsh. Yeah, that was just a few minutes ago, and you you're still wrecking Sandy Shore. You you're still driving aggressive, fast, drifting all over the the town. So I'm hey, not gonna man. be able to give you a verbal. What about a written warning? I haven't got long life to live, mm. man. Make me make me enjoy my retirement. Well, I'm I'm just glad that you didn't kill anyone, right? I'm not that reckless, officer. I promise. But what I'm gonna do, I'm I'm gonna give you a citation today, but I'm gonna Damn. bump it down a little bit, alright? I caught you doing 71 in a 30 zone. I appreciate that, officer. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna write that you did 49, alright? Thank you. So instead of a cit citation on 4,000, you're getting a citation on 2,000, alright? I can live with that, man. You're a hero. You really are. All right. But if I see you keep driving like you you have been, I'm not gonna be nice to you. All right. I appreciate that, man. I, I'm not gonna go okay. driving like an asshole again. I'll find something else to yeah, live my life. You, yeah, you can hurt yourself. You can hurt everyone else around you. You could lose the control of your vehicle, ram a building, and kill people who are maybe eating breakfast or something. Everything can happen, alright? Just take it easy, take it slow. Okay, man. Okay. Here you go if you sign at the bottom. It's not an admission to guilt, but I promise to appear in court. Here you go, Thank man. Thank you. Fucking two and Mrs. Stevens, please slow down. I don't want to be pulling you over again in five minutes for the same shit. You old man, I can assure you of that. Okay, great. <laughs> Stay safe, <laughs> drive, drive slow, and have a good one. You do, Mr. Johnson. You're free to leave whenever I... Thank you. You're free to leave whenever I take a seat in my vehicle and turn my lights off. Well, I'm a man of my word, and I'm not gonna go driving like an asshole again. I'm hey man, you okay? Dude, you look really ill. Uh, need water. Hang on, man, I got you. Water, uh, give. Uh, ten. Why not? We're saving a life. Do you need food as well, man? Oh, food. Food, I'm good. Okay, man, you're gonna be fine. Damn, I guess the medics took him. I need some water now. That that reminded me how important food is. Oh, damn. I hope you don't mind that I kicked this car. I'm just gonna park it up for him until he gets out of hospital. I could have stole his car, but I'm not that much of an asshole, you see? I parked this car at Bull Safe. Now I'm gonna go find something else to do. Something the kids call, like, cool. Something fun, man. Okay, since I can't drive sensible, I've decided to go shooting. I'm not, I'm not a criminal. I'm not gonna shoot people. I'm just gonna shoot at targets. I mean, I could shoot that guy over there, I guess. Is that a good idea? Nah, he's having fun fishing. I'm just gonna shoot out into the pond. Let's see if I can hit this boat. I'm not a bad shot for an old man. Fair play. Let's see if I can hit these rocks. I'm gonna go see if I can shoot these rocks over here. They're very, very far away. I need a sniper rifle for this. What about bird? Is there a bird anywhere? Damn, I wish there was more birds I could shoot at. I'm gonna shoot at this pole. Got it. And again. 
Damn, I'm good at this. What about that silo over there? Back of the boat. Damn, I'm good at this, man. Back of the boat. Rocks. Come on, man. Oh, damn. This is a lot harder than it looks. I must be careful not to hit that guy down there. Oh, damn. The popo's here. I'm gonna put my gun in my car real quick. Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with shooting out into the, uh, LLC here? I'm just doing some target practice, man. You said I couldn't drive like an asshole, but I wanted to have some fun. Alright, sir. Well, uh, unfortunately, this is, uh, public property, and you should, uh, firing a weapon on public land is, a uh, is a... I'm not near any houses, officer. It's a public road, so that classifies as public property, sir. Damn, man. Is anything legal in this state? I got a tattoo on my arm. Next, you'll tell me that's illegal. Well, well actually, sir, that is illegal. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, um, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, seeing as this is uh, sheriff uh, territory, I'm going to let him uh, figure out if he needs to press any charges against you or if he's just going to let things go here. Okay, man. Have a lovely right. day. Go keep those highways okay. safe. Well, I'm going to still be here, but... Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll Mr. Stevens, I, I just pulled you over because you were driving reckless. And as you can see, there's people out here fishing. There's boats outside, out in the sea. You could have hit any of those. I slowed down my driving, man. And I aimed away from anything that could damage property or hurt anyone. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. I got good aim, man. Um, Trip, you if you want to stay friend? with him... Oh, okay. Um, you yeah, just we'll give do. me a few seconds. I'll, I'll run his name, uh, make sure everything's alright. Um, and I'll, I'll come back in just a few seconds. Yeah, for sure. Hello again, Sheriff. Mr. Steven, if you go ahead and turn around for me. Why? Because you do not have a weapons permit. Oh, I, I signed at the ammunition, though. Well... It may not have just gone through yet, you know? I just got it. Well, if that's the case, we can figure it out down at the station, but currently you're under arrest. Damn, man. Alright, if you if you mind turning your back towards me. Damn technicalities. Yeah. My pistol's and you placed in my the car. weapon on the on the driver's seat. Yeah, man. I just threw it in. You no, know, it's a convertible. Yeah, I'll go get it. Okay. Damn, man. It seems everything I do is illegal around here. Well, you can't yeah, be well. shooting your weapon, discharging your weapon in public, and especially if you don't have a weapons permit. I do, man. It's just a technicality. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out once we're at the station, all right? Yeah, man. I was, I was only shooting the water. I figured no harm, no foul. You, you know? No, well, anything can happen. It, you, divers, swimmers. No one dives in here, man. Look at it. There's floating crisp packets everywhere. Well, some might. I've seen a diving party going around and Sandy diving everywhere. That was probably just a dead hooker floating away, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, Trooper, do you mind handling his vehicle? And I'll take him to the PD. Take good care of him, yeah, man. Yeah, 10 4 you... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check if the weapons permit went through. Okay, man, I appreciate it. Before we do it. anything else. What are you here for, Pecker? Gentlemen, can I help you? Yeah, Randall. Tell the cop what you did. All right, remember me telling you not to tell Grandpa? Uh-huh. Well, I I couldn't hold it from him, and I told Grandpa, can I can I get that gun back for Grandpa, please? That was his great-great-grandfather's original 1911. Yep. And, yeah, he beat my ass like 17 times already. I can't take okay. no more. Sure have. 
That's illegal, man. So, Grandpa, what's your name? Uh, my name's Frank. Okay, Frank. Can I see your driver's license? I'll make sure it's uh, registered and everything like that. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Frank Longhorn? Yep. Alright. Give me a few minutes. It's like the old people convention around here, man. What? It's like there's what an was old... That? It's like there's an old person's convention going on. Oh, you did not call me old, motherfucker. Oh, sorry, man. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings like that. It's okay, Grandpa. Look at he's old and fat. You're old and All right. Who oh, you calling right. fat, motherfucker? Yes, All right. All right. All right, Mr. Longhorn. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have you sign some papers, some release papers. All Give right. Give me a few seconds, and I'll just write it up. You promise not to beat me no more, Grandpa? Yes, Randy. Jesus Christ, you're such a pussy! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, Ms. Longhorn, if you go ahead and sign at the bottom there, um, you say that you received the weapon on today's date. It's the All right. 27th of May 2018. Okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, great. And there you go. You just take Appreciate care of it. it, lock it up. Yep. Uh, I got the key back from this asshole already. Randy, apologize oh, okay. to this cop. Sorry, fucker, but remember, I'm still making that gravestone. Oh, now, Did he tell you what he told me? No. Don't uh, tell him. He's uh, threatening me to... Oh, Hold yeah, on, bro. What? He's, he's threatening me that he's gonna put some stuff on my tombstone. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. These guys are assholes. Yeah. Well, sirs, I have to <laughs> <Yep>. handle <laughs> this gentleman here. If you don't have any more matters here in the sheriff's station. Yeah, yeah. Is that dude looking at right, Oh, there you go. All right, see ya. Come have on, a Randy. good one. Try to dig it. Bye. All right, Damn, um, so I saw that your weapons permit now is through in the system, so I'm not going to charge you for um, carrying without permit. Uh, oh, so, so what man. I'm going to do... Let me just find that penal code again. Can you just give me a warning, man? I've had enough tickets today. I didn't realize it was such a bad thing to go out shooting by a lake. Back in my I mean, day, I, you I could do it all the time. I cannot give you a warning when you do a felony offense. Damn, man, it's not that bad, surely. I wasn't near any it people is. or houses or anything. I saw a person next to you, right across of you, standing there fishing. Another one to your left fishing, and a couple of boats out in the water. Damn, and I man, know you have good eyes. Is, it, yeah, well, I have. That's why I'm a cop. So, and I also know there's a family here that some brothers that goes around diving, finding treasures, cleaning the seas, or whatever they call it. They sound posh. I'm sorry, what's that? They sound really posh. One well, of those tree I, huggers. I don't know what yeah, they do, that what they do. Was. They're not disturbing anyone else. You just, you just so you know, you cannot be discharging your weapon in public. You have to go... I know that ammunitions down in... Uh, in Sa not Sandy, in the town um, have a shooting range. So if you if you want to go ahead and practice shoot, then you're f more than free to go down there and use your shooting range. That takes the fun out of it, man. You don't get the rush. That takes the the danger out of it. You mean? Yeah, you don't get as much of a thrill, man. Plus, you can't shoot birds at a shooting range. A firearm in public. It's a felony third degree offense so you have two options either you pay the bond of fifty thousand dollars or you spend five years in jail can you knock that down man i don't have fifty thousand dollars i'll give you, you twenty option one or option i'm giving you an option here 
I'll give you 20 right now. Well, uh, it's not up to me. I, I, I just can't lower that. Damn, man, I'm gonna die in prison. Why do you say that? I'm 61, man. I haven't got long left. 61? You, you, you have at least 40 years left. If you nah, treat yourself good. I'm not that healthy, man. Fast food, cocaine, it, it doesn't good, do you good, man. Well, then there's the alcoholism. Really... I swear I just heard a taser. Those guys in the cat are yeah, a taser, yeah. man. They just tasered yeah. your car, I saw them. You go deal with them, and as your back is turned, I'll run away, yeah? You didn't see a thing. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay, so do you want to go with option one or option two? I haven't Pay got the bond money, man. Or... I'll, I'll have to oh, go okay. jail. Okay, so you're going with the yield time? Okay. Just make sure you get so those assholes Steven, you... in the car. Yeah, um, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Trust me on that. Thank God. Set them in the same cell as me. I'll show them what's right. Yeah, I sure will. So if you go ahead and step towards so those doors, another off officer will come in get your cuffs off and uh, take you with them to jail. And there we go again. <laughs> oh, wow. No, he, yeah, he did knock it down. Oh, that dude's a legend. I think you miscalculated something, though. I think you thought there was 50 seconds in a minute. Oh, well. This is officially the second episode in a row where we ended up in this exact jail cell, actually. Yeah, I should probably go for some kind of record or medal or something. Oh well. Just go pee quickly. Psss. Yep, oh, okay, that was weird. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode and I will see you then. I've got a few seconds to spend in jail before I can do anything. Peace out guys. <laughs>